Hello YouTube and fellow resellers. My name is Kevin the Stoic Reseller. Back at you with another video. If you're new here, I buy new and used clothing. I sell that on eBay and Poshmark currently. I am a very data-driven individual. So what you're going to find in my channel is a lot of statistics, data, full transparency of sales. You're also going to get what today's video is all about, which is brands that you probably have never heard of. And if you have heard of it, maybe you've never found it. So we're going to do a deep dive into 10 brands today that sell for great money or have very fast sell through rates. So without any hesitation, let's jump into the first one. And uh, for full transparency, I could have done all this stuff in the background, um, you know, and maybe even faster. But I like to be full transparent. I like to show you the research, show how everything works. So if you like that type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment below about something you learned today. Let's jump right into it. So the first that I have here is called Left Field NYC. Now, this is a brand I guarantee you nine out of every 10 viewers have probably never heard of. So we're just going to go in men's clothing. Buy it now. I hate that. So you can see here, these are all pretty um, strong. It's, it's just a brand out of New York City. It's been there for a long time. Um, Something else I'll do here is let, let's rip this um, and then do this and then let's pull up the um, let's, let's pull up the website so you know what it's all about. So we got Left Field NYC. You can see here they got a bunch of stuff. Um, what's unique and special about this brand is that it's made here in the United States um, for the most part. Uh, I had found, and we'll do another rip here. We'll go, wee, wee, wee. we'll go back to eBay. And then we'll go to my solds. Paid and shipped. So you can see that I'm not lying. There you go. So here's a, just a pair of chinos. Uh, very basic. The only reason I looked these up was because I didn't recognize the logo, um, which really the only identifying mark was this here. Uh, so left field, still made in the USA. Um, you know, this I had listed for $55 plus shipping, took an offer of $46. Pretty dang good. Um, again, it's just a really obscure brand. But now, let's see. There's 57 total results. Let's look at the solds, guys. 83. So, um, you know, I, I have my thoughts on sell-through rate. So we're not going to call this 100%. We're just going to say this has a very high sell-through rate. And you can see the average sale price is very high. I mean, here's mine. Uh, the jeans command over $100. The chinos, you can get about 50 to 70 The shorts, about 30 to 50 from my experience. Just from what I've seen in the research, shirts are very basic shirts. If you're getting $40 for a basic shirt, you know the brand is good. Um, but yeah, this is a brand I guarantee you most of you have not heard of. So next one, we uh, will reset our search here. And we are going to show you this brand, Cola Tree. Now this is in, from, my, from what I've seen, I've seen this at the... Public lands, and I've seen it at REI. Um, and what you're really looking for on this brand is this um, mountain trailhead pant. And these have a very strong sell through rate, but just about everything in this brand sells for decent money. Um, you can see here 125 total results in all of clothing. Do the let's do the the sell through rate. So it's around a you know, it, it, the way I look at sell through rate, this is a 50% sell through rate, 125 listed, 125 sold. Some people will argue that that equals 100%. How is that 100% when you had 250 listings total with 125 of them selling? That's a 50% sell through rate. But I rest my case. We'll go straight into this. So you can see the prices of these. Uh, these, um, the trail, man, I wish these people would label their stuff right. So Trailhead Adventure Pant. I've found like three or four pairs of these at this point, and um, they all have sold between forty to fifty-five dollars. Um, here is my most recent one, forty bucks. The green didn't sell very well, um, 
or I mean, it doesn't sell as great as the black pair. Let me see if I can find the black pair. I've I've been finding this a lot recently. Here's here, okay, here you go. Forty took an offer for forty bucks for that one, and I had another one lit sell, and that one sold on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, you can see this is a unique brand. Um, we'll use my listing here as a let's see, will it? Nope. Okay, good. Um, here is the logo. And to be honest with you guys, it's pretty, I mean, it kind of just seems very mediocre to me. The material is somewhat of a mid high, mid to high quality material. Um, it's something that I would expect like a North Face or um, maybe even like a Patagonia, like trail pant, like a hiking nylon pant to feel like. Uh, I'm really not other than maybe the to overall fit and... Um, you know, style, I don't believe these are really anything better than anything else. It's just a more obscure brand, and it still commands a lot of money. And this is an item that will sell on Poshmark and eBay because it's an in-demand, in-the-now type of item that both people who shop on Poshmark and on eBay are looking to buy. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. So let's, let's look here. Let's X out of that since we already have this. Oh, I messed, I done messed up. Look at me. I'm such a scrub. All right. The third brand that we are going to be looking up is called Ironheart. Um, I am not entirely sure if any of you guys have ever heard of this brand. Now, dang, is there really that many? There is really that many. Uh, so you can see here the just the prices alone of this brand. 574 listings. Let's look at the sell through rate. That is inaccurate. What in the heck? Why is it doing that? Do you see that, guys? There's okay, there's no way. I need this to be. I don't know what's up with eBay search, guys. But eBay search is terrible. So 111. And that's not accurate either. What is happening? Let's do Ironheart Japan. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, this isn't. Well, maybe we could see. I'm not. This is a terrible experience. I know, guys. Anyways, you can see here the Ironheart stuff has a very high ASP. Um, let me see if I can find my listings that sold. Of course, they're not going to be on here, are they? Eh, whatever. I can show you here. So, let me just show you some flannels that sold recently. Right here, the very top. So, you can see here, this was just an Ironheart heavyweight flannel. I listed these at $300 a piece, guys. A gentleman came in, offered me $250 if, to buy both. So he paid 500 plus shipping for two flannels. If this isn't a brand on your radar, you're not doing it right. This brand is so stinking strong. I mean, let's see if we can narrow down this search because this is, I, I don't really necessarily like this. And you know what? We're going to do Ironheart jeans and then we're going to narrow it down even further to pre-owned. Um, okay. So yeah, we have, I mean, just look at the, the, average asking price for a used pair of iron hearts um let's see what the yeah 168 i mean pretty strong sell through rate um for a brand that regularly i mean it may not seem like a good sell through rate but guys would you be willing to wait you know five months plus to sell an item that is gonna sell eventually for anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars because I'm telling you, I would. I 100% would. I mean, this is a brand that you're not leaving at the thrift store. And also, I'll let you know in, an, in a little secret, both those flannels only cost me $10. So this is a brand that isn't well known. So the thrift stores, the odds of the thrift store pricing this above what is expected is very minimal. So guys, look for this. Um, the logo, let me show you the logo on mine. Um, it's it, the logo is the same. I've found three total pieces of this. Okay, it looks 
I'll tell you it looks sketchy, doesn't it? But Ironheart, um, and then what you're gonna look for is the, the work sync. That's all accurate. That's all accurate. It's, but this is what you're looking for. This will be in the garment somewhere. Genuine quality, Ironheart made in Japan. The, you're looking for this. If it doesn't have this, it's probably fake, is from what I've gathered from my research, okay, guys? Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a brand. I mean, the, the quality was off the charts, guys. I mean, just from the, the stitching, the buttons, I mean, everything on this flannel was just next level, guys, okay? And to be fair, these heavyweight flannels at the time of my listing had um, more solds than listed, especially in the United States. So when you filtered for U.S. only, there weren't any listed in this size. So I priced them high, expecting um, to wait a while for them to sell. But I literally sold these within like three days, guys. So I made $500 on two shirts in three days. So this is a brand that should 100% be on your radar. Sorry for the weird search. We all know the uh, struggles of eBay and the search. The next is a pair. Uh, I've only found this once, and it was in a pair of shorts. Volback is a interesting brand. We'll filter by pre-owned because I believe that's what most of us are going to find. But again, this is a high ASP brand. You can see all of this stuff. The squid jackets, if you find the squid jacket, you're in money. I mean, this is another jacket, but guys, now the problem with this brand that I've seen is even though the sell-through rate is very positive, in my opinion, for whatever reason, I cannot sell the one pair of shorts that I have. Let me see if I can find it. Do they? It's like right here. So this is mine. Um, I was able to locate the exact item. And for whatever reason, I mean, it's got some small staining on it, but these should be priced around $200, and they're they're not. Uh, I haven't priced at $150 or $142. They've gone through a reset for me. Um, but, yeah, let's look at Volbeck. Let's look at their website and see what kind of goodies we can find in this here. So here's their website. And if you guys are curious and you see items every day, or maybe you don't see them at all. Maybe it's a brand you've never seen before. My recommendation is just do some research. What I've been doing recently is taking pictures of items that I see every day, and I do in-depth research just to make sure I'm not leaving any money behind. I wanna be the best thrifter in the area, 100%, and I wanna make sure that when I leave the thrift store, someone coming behind me isn't finding any secret gem or bolo, okay? So, um, I will be honest with you guys, I've kind of done some research. This just seems like a very high-end fashion brand, and I'm not 100% sure why it's worth so much. Um, I'm not into actors, or I'm really, I'm really not the best in terms of like understanding, you know, uh, what are the pop media or fashion. I'm not a fashionable person. Um, but yeah, these are, I mean, whatever it is about these, it's just so effing crazy. I mean, and these are the sales guys. I mean, look at the average sales price of these items. This is another brand where if you have a shirt and it's selling for a hundred dollars, think about that guys. This is a plain shirt, cotton, plain shirt, cotton. It is just like. The most basic thing, like you go to Walmart and get a Fruit of Loom for like five bucks. This one's selling for a hundred. What the hell's the difference, right? So, Volbeck, guys. Um, let me pull up my listing so you can see the logo. And the logo looks just like this. Very plain, very unassuming. Um, what is setting this item apart is the feel. The, the, the fabric had a really strong feel. And it was a brand I had never seen before. And you just do a quick Google or eBay search of Volbeck. And you're like, wow, I see shorts for $200. I don't think I even decided to look twice. I just grabbed them and put them in my cart. Now, they have so sat in my store for a long while. 
but that's okay i'm not concerned it, they will eventually sell so moving on there we go okay moving on to the next one we have Patalahoa or Pataloa. Now, I don't, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of Patagonia, right? Or Patagucci or Pata, whatever the heck you want to call it. Patalahoa or Pataloa is a line of Patagonia that's fairly rare. They make, um, they used to make seasonal ones. Every, every year they would make a new like print and then they would claim it's limited edition um, so you might still find some more recent ones, but the ones you're wanting to find are the vintage style or the older styles. A lot of times they'll have like the date on them. Um, like here's mine right here. I was able to locate it. Um, you know, I have it listed for a hundred dollars because there's been other solds of the trout ones, but you can see some of these command, like the all over print, like crazy wild looking ones like this, 200 bucks. 175 the, this line of patagonia is pretty rare i've only found it i would say you know one or two times i mean yeah there's 1200 listings but i mean the average sold price of these are pretty intense uh for the hawaiian shirts i mean like here's the one that i was telling you here's mine in a different size and worse condition sold for 95 dollars. so the the shirts sell for like these older vintage style um you know don't leave these on the rack guys if you see patalahoa or Pataloho, pataloha i think it's how you say it don't leave it because it's gonna command a minimum of 40 dollars on a basic one which would be more the what i consider the more modern ones but if you find a vintage one you can command up to 150 and sometimes i've seen some of these go for 250 so Guys, this is just a, another line of Patagonia. Um, by the way, this is a more modern one. I found this one at a uh, Ross one time, of all places. So let me look here. Let me go back. Let me see if I can find my listing so I can show you the tag. Um, I mean, you can see it's a pretty cool shirt. Um, but yeah, here we go. See, this is what I was saying. So 2005, Petalahoa, limited edition. It's got a silk blend in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, don't pass this up. You see these guys, you're going to pick them up 100% of the time. Uh, some of, Most of these, I would argue, I would pay up over $25, bucks, um, especially if it's a very rare one. So keep that on the, on the back burner. Uh, if you see Patalahoa, it's not a counterfeit Patagonia, okay? It's not some cheap knockoff. It's literally a line of Patagonia. That is limited, and I don't believe they make it anymore. So don't quote me on that, but I have not seen any recent ones. So um, I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong on that, okay? So moving on. We are now on to six, which is going to be another fashion brand that with a high sell-through or high ASP, guys. So here is, it's called, I believe, in you can roast me in the comments if you want. It's called Emojin and Willy, uh, I believe. <laughs> Someone correct me in the comments. <laughs> this is a very high ASP. It's a very fashion-centric brand. I am not 100% sure also why this is so expensive. Um, I have found this twice. Uh, the first item was a shirt. It was like a very nice like wool alpaca blend shirt. Unfortunately, it was completely destroyed. Some It looked like a dog got to it, okay? The arms had big old rips in it, um, bite marks on the back. It didn't look intentional. This looked like it was just destroyed. Um, so I had to leave that one, but I do have a pair of jeans um, that I can show you the, the lows. But let's look at the selfie rate, guys. So for men and women, there's a total of 690 currently listed. 629, and, you know... This is an interesting aspect because when you when you factor in the fact that this has a very high ASP and the selfie rate is this strong, it's it's got to tell you something, right? I mean, here is a basic white shirt <laughs> with just a very basic title that sold for 35 bucks. It's just another one of those brands 
where if you find the just any piece, it's going to sell. So let me see if I can find uh, my active one so I can show you guys. Doo -doo -doo, here we go. So I have these jeans listed for 80. Um, they have a couple like wear spots like here. They are salvage denim. Um, here is the logo if you guys are curious. Uh, you the, the quality of feel for this is off the charts as well. This is a very high-end item, guys. So, you know, you, you shouldn't expect anything less um, than the high quality that is these. Um, I'm not quite sure. It doesn't really say where they're made at. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, look for these. Um, salvage denim is always pretty good. You know, if you find the red line, uh, which I don't – oh, did I not – my wife didn't picture them. That's okay. Um, but, yeah, if, you're, if you know what salvage denim is, look for salvage denim. Um, look up all the brands of salvage denim and, and you'll find some really really like hidden gems in that specific pair like style of jean but yeah uh, this sold once the gentleman didn't like the feel of it and so he returned it but uh, or he didn't like the fit not the feel it, it, it is what it is it'll sell again high asp 80 bucks it's got plenty of it's got six watchers so i'm in good shape with that one guys um so let's move on Two, item number seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, getting a little ahead of myself. All right, so the next one is another uh, fashion brand, PRPS. Um, now let's see here. Do we, is the search messed up or not? No. Okay. Finally, and we'll filter by pre-owned. Okay, so you can see this isn't really that rare of a brand, I suppose. Um, but you can see it's, again, it's another fashion-centric brand. Very high ASP. Like, here's mine, um, Barracuda. This is a, it's salvage denim, pretty strong. Uh, this is a brand that the that Goodwill didn't know about, so they did not price this up. I think I spent, I think standard jean was like twelve ninety nine or something. But you can see here, it's got strong sales, pretty strong ASP. Uh, you know, I mean, again, we got uh, the best item in this brand is going to be the jeans. You're, and that's the only place I found them is in the jeans section. And I found this brand only twice in the last three and a half, almost four years I've been doing this. So keep an eye out for these, these guys. These are really good. Let me see if I can show you the logo. So right away, you'll notice the logo on the back. It's got this like baby or cherub or whatever the heck this thing is um, on the back. Not Mostly they're going to be salvage denim. And here is the inside logo. By the way, these feel great too. These are almost like a like a rough denim. Like I think they call that like a, um, a raw denim. But yeah, so, you know. You can just see the quality coming out of this. Now, they are made in China, which is unfortunate. Um, a lot of times you really want to see these made, uh, not this brand specifically, but like high-end brands. You really want to see made in uh, different countries other than China. But this is one of the few brands that I see that is made in China that still commands a high ASP. So, yeah, guys, here's that PRPS. Keep a lookout for those. Um, very good brand. And if you're looking, you know, if you're struggling with sales and, and, and you know, these brands, you're not going to find all the time. OK, let's admit that. But if you're struggling with sales and you're leaving and you've you think to yourself, man, I've seen this brand before and I left it behind. Stop leaving it behind. This will help increase your sales. Um, and it'll actually, you know, one of the things I've noticed is because I start doing more in-depth research I start attracting buyers who are looking to buy multiple items. And I'm also attracting buyers who look at, hey, I got this pair of high quality denim. What other high quality denim does he have? There was an instance where I sold um, the next brand I'm gonna show you and uh, a brand that I'm not gonna show you, but it'll be for another video uh, of jeans. It's two pairs of st different style jeans, same size, high quality, but it was like $250 worth of sales because I had two pairs. I didn't pass it up. And that's the kind of stuff you guys need to start thinking about is when you see these new brands or you feel a, an item that is just so 
feels just good. Like it doesn't feel like anything else that's on the rack. Look it up. Don't don't risk it. Just look it up. Only takes a few seconds. And if you're not comfortable looking it up right then and there, just put it in your cart. Go find a corner of the good of the thrift store, hide and just be like, what is this thing? And bam. That's all you gotta do, guys. And moving on to number eight. Number eight is another jeans brand. This brand I found through research on the Huckberry website. Um, and before I show you that. So let me show you what the Huckberry website looks like. Um, so Huckberry, and let me show you, it's it's kind of like an outdoors brand. It's one of the coolest stores I've actually ever found. And um, it's good for just looking anything up. They sell shoes, they sell pants, they sell you know, this stuff. I mean, Iron and Resin is a good brand. I've only found that once. Here's a uh, Bather, Bather and Trunk Co. I've never found that, but now I'm going to look for this, right? So, you know, you're, I'm going to look for this really unassuming looking logo. Bather sells for 150 Man, if I find that in the thrift, I'm picking that up, right? I found a Sager to uh, shirt that sold for 20 within an, a day. Um, you know, it's just, this is the stuff that you guys need to be doing. You know, I mean, it, this is, this site has like styles that are in demand right now okay this this site i've noticed that if i find brands from this site they are styles and in demand items on both platforms poshmark and ebay so before i show you the next one i recommend go and look up these sites go look at what's being sold on nordstrom macy's those are the items that are being targeted to people who can shop at those stores okay that's the other mentality of the business that you need to understand is that people who can shop at these stores are not necessarily worried about money. And so if there's going to be an economic downturn, there's financial struggles like we're seeing right now, people buying these items are not those people. These are the people that have either put the time in, they don't care about money anymore because they have a boatload of it, or these are just people who are just rich. They don't, you know, they're whatever they're doing pays them a lot of money and that probably will never change. So, you, you know, change your mindset about how you source. That's kind of how I look at it, guys. So with that said, let's get into number eight. Number eight is Hiroshi Kato. Um, you will find this specifically more often in the jeans, uh, but they do have shirts. I've, I've never found the shirts. I've only found this brand once. It is extremely unassuming, so you got to be very careful and familiarize yourself with the logo, and I will show that here in a little bit. Um, but you can see another very high ASP uh, product or brand. Let's look at the solds. Very high sell-through rate. Okay, we're talking 232, um, and the way I do sell-through rate is we'll, we'll pull up the calculator. So we got 232 plus... 309 right it's 541 so you take 309 divided by 541 and you get a 57.11 percent sell through rate this is stellar this anything above 50 percent because if you if you start training your brain to think about this because if you go oh well this has a hundred percent sell through rate you're, you're training yourself to think of like a hundred percent sell through rate right like it should sell within a day no start training yourself to think of it a little bit differently but anything over 50% is like astounding. And the fact that this is over that selfie rate with like an average sales price of around $80 to $90 is, is crazy to me. Um, so I, I did, you know, let me let me just click on a random here. Um, but here, so here's the back. Um, you're gonna see this K-T-O-A. So you're like, what is Katoa? No, it's who it's Kato. So it goes, it, it's pretty cool. It's K-A-T-O. Um, the interior tag, it will, it'll have the brand spell out. It'll have this really unassuming kind of stitching here. It, it's, it's, this is like most often probably what you'll see. And it's very strange. It's, it's, it's a very interesting brand. Um, it's mostly salvaged denim, as you can see in this picture. Um, and guys, this is not my listing. This is someone else's. Um, but I'm just showing you like, there's the, um, the salvage aspect. And then it also have the style right in here. 
So very, very high end brand guys. This is a, this is something, you know, again, if you're seeing this and you're like, I don't know what this, this is, this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not going to pick this up. I can't figure it out. I'm, I'm dumb. Blah, blah. Stop. Just do a little bit more. Be patient. Clothing is an experience category. The more experience you have, the more research you've done, the better you're going to be at it and the more money you're going to make in the long run. Um, because if I didn't take the time to spend a half an hour on the Huckberry website, I would not have known about this. And to be honest with you guys, I paid 20 bucks for this at the thrift store. If I would have seen that price and had zero research and knowledge of what this was, I may have just passed it. You know, I sold mine for like $100 within a week. So, you know, who's who doesn't want to turn a $20 bill into a $100 bill? Show me the person that doesn't want to do that and I'll call him a fool. So it's moving on up. Boop, no, no. So we have number nine, which is a personal favorite brand of mine. Uh, Origin Clothing. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I'm going to be able to. There we go. So let's get out of the solds. Let's see how much is available. There's only 36. Um, very, very high end brand guys. Now they do sell things on their website for, you know, under 50 bucks. I own a lot of their clothing. Um, but it is honestly probably my, it's for me, it's my favorite brand simply because the whole mission of this company origin is to buy or is to buy it and sell things on an American supply chain. So meaning all of the components, all of the materials are all American, not sourced from other countries. The factory itself was built here in the US by Americans and they re like all the equipment is for the most part sourced as much as humanly possible in the United States. So I recommend you guys go check out this website. It is a somewhat tactical, military tactical. Um, it's co-founded by a gentleman named Jocko. Um, and if you, you, maybe some of you have heard of his books, um, you know, Jocko Willink, look them up. They're very inspirational books. Uh, but he was a U.S. Navy SEAL. And, uh, I mean, you can see here they, they do um, every day, you know, they have workwear, hunt, training, and they got their start in jujitsu, actually. So, um, and they're more well-known, I would assume, for their geese, which is what these guys are wearing. But the training line is my favorite line, um, and but their jeans sell the best online. So there's not much of it out there, and the people that have it do not want to get rid of it. So let me let's go to the sold here, and you can see the sell through rate is astounding as well. Um, and you're not going to get rich, in my opinion. I mean, if you got jeans, you'll get you'll make a good amount of money. But some of their hunting, like their nylock stuff, um, some of their just regular shirts, you're not going to make a crazy amount of money okay um their jeans are where the money's at but the shirts have a high sell through rate their boots have a good sell through rate um sweaters i mean everything in this brand i would pick up regardless of what it is um and i would i would sell it i don't care what the price point is you're not leaving this brand behind because you're gonna make money it, it, it doesn't even matter if it's 30 bucks guys you know, how often do you see a pair of shorts that sell for $30? There's not very many out there, right? You know, how many Hurleys are you selling for 30? How many Nike shorts are you selling for 30? You know, the stuff you see every day, there's a reason it only sells for like 15 to 20 bucks. It's because it's so easy to get, so mass produced. You know, this stuff, it's just a basic pair of black shorts. <laughs> so this is, like I said, guys, this is my favorite brand. Um, I'm very um, into the American made american centric brands um simply because you know i live in the united states i want to i want to buy items by made by americans so that at least i know my money is going to support someone else who lives in the same country as i um and, and you know there's something about that i mean i i even go as far as to still go out of my way to try to buy stuff from canada from england from europe in general as long as it's not china or uh, vietnam those are literally the worst to buy, worst places to produce things. They're, you know, in there just mass produced. So you see stuff in Canada, Europe, England, 
stuff like that, you know the items are probably worth something. So if you see that made in somewhere other than China and you know uh, Vietnam, you should look it up, guys. All right, I've talked enough. Let's get to the final one. Um, now, this is also a very good brand. Obviously, it always it wouldn't be in this video. Uh, and if I could just spell, it'd be great. So the uh, brand is called GORUCK. Um, GORUCK is another brand made by US Navy SEAL. Let me pull up their website. Um, this is a website that I also have bought stuff on. I own their shoes, um, their ballistic trainers. These here, these are by far my favorite shoes I have ever owned in my life. Um, I have a left ankle problem from a snow accident. And don't talk to my family about it because they're just going to laugh. And uh, these actually have really helped out a long way. This brand got their start by producing um, bags that have these ruck plates in them. And their whole thing is, you know, to go rucking. They want to use, you can use these bags as kind of a resistance training. Um, but their clothing is where it's all at. They have footwear, they have men and women's apparel. Um they, they have a Cameron Haynes collection now. See, I hadn't even seen this yet. Um, this is pretty new, in my opinion. Um, ooh, look at these hats. These are sick. Yeah. This is <laughs> this is cool. I like... You know, this is the stuff that I don't... You know, you got to keep researching these brands, guys. Um, but anyways, I highly recommend. Go check out the website. A lot of their stuff is made in the United States. Some of it is not. So just be careful with that. But let's see here. We have 171 current active listings and 456 sold listings. Now that is in the all conditions. That is, oh my God, stupid eBay. Um, and that is everything between their shoes, bags, pants, tops, everything, right? So you can see here, pretty strong average sales price. Um, their shoes are pretty damn good. Um, I have only found this brand once in the wild, okay? Uh, it is a brand that I have come to understand why people don't want to give their stuff back to the Goodwill. Uh, very high quality, very high ASP, very expensive to buy uh, brand new. Uh, but these are just quality items, super high quality. Um, I, I can't even express how good this brand is. Um, I own... Um, I own their ballistic trainers. My wife owns their ballistic trainers. She hasn't taken them off. I can't even get her to take them off in bed. Like, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> that's just a joke. Don't don't take me serious. Um, no, but she, she works, does a lot of working out, and she loves these shoes. She's had hokas. She's had, um, you know, uh, all sorts of uh, the other, you know, top of the line. She's had Nike, Under Armour. These shoes are the best. She wants me to get her another pair, and, and to be honest with you, I want another pair. Um, but yeah, great brand. Research it, guys. High a average sales price, high sell through rate. These are the brands, guys, that you need to be on the lookout for. And if you're not on the lookout for these, you're doing it wrong. Um, as a quick kind of recap of the brands that I went over in this video, it was Left Field NYC, Cola Tree. Ironheart, Volback, Pataloa, Emojin and Willy, PRPS, Hiroshi Kato, Origin, and Goruck. So if you see these brands in the wild, pick them up, pay up for these. Don't pay up too much. You know, uh, don't don't go crazy. Don't be paying 50 bucks for these, okay? But pay up because these are brands that I guarantee you, you probably didn't know about. And if you did, your secret's out now, guys. So if you like this, Please like, subscribe, share my video, comment below what is something you learned today, and never forget to rule the day.